Hi, Yanis. So nice to have you. Thank you so much for interviewing, having a chat with me um, to discuss, you know, the upcoming Flank Forward. I know we're um, a few months away, but as you know, they come by pretty quickly and excited to hear your perspective on um, all things streaming. And um, yeah, if you don't mind, just have a quick chat, a few questions. Yeah, absolutely. Let's just start with it. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so as a staff streaming product architect and author of Stream, Pro Stream Processing Hands-On with Apache Flink, with a focus on streaming events and stream processing systems, could you tell us about your journey into the specialized field and what inspired you to delve into streaming, event streaming technologies? Oh my, yeah. Uh, so basically, I think for me, it was just natural. I mean, since day one, uh, I was working uh, with stream and stream processing systems. Um, literally from day one, I started uh, basically with Kafka back in the day uh, as a software engineer, basically Python software engineer at the time. So for the last almost 10 years, actually eight to 10 years now, I have tasked and worked with many streaming systems like Kafka and then Pulsar and along with that, like lots of stream processing with uh, Apache Spark. But what was always in my heart, but um, I think it's been like only for the last three years I've been heavily involved with Apache Fling. Since day one, I was a major for Fling, but there weren't really many opportunities at the time. So... I think now it's the best time for a project playing. I mean, it's so many years around, but right now it's uh, actually it shines more and more. Okay, great. Um, anything particularly you wanted to comment there of what you're excited about with Apache Flink? So I think the most exciting uh, thing about the Apache Flink, uh, in my personal view, is this whole thing that allows for a true unified Apache streaming uh, architecture. We have been doing, and there's been lots of work been doing on the API side for uh, for a while now, but it's only lately that the surrounding projects around Apache Flink have, have matured as well, like uh, Flink CDC, and uh, we also have Apache Pine these days that basically complete this unified stack. So I think going forward, although Flink has been amazing all these years, we're going to see even more. So the most exciting thing for me is to see a project that is continually growing and it's not only evolving but also drives innovation mm. oh really good um points there you've mentioned that's really great um also your expertise lies in helping companies modernize their data infrastructure using streaming technologies so mm -hmm. like you're saying with the um batch streaming with such as like the opportunities with apache paimon and apache flink what are some common challenges you've encountered in this process and how do you address them? Mm -hmm. Oh, so I think there are many, many different challenges. You can see across many different dimensions and also come, uh, it also depends on the company, the use case, the scale. I don't think there is uh, any good approach to this. For me, it's more about trying to figure out what makes sense and what is the right solution for the right problem. I mean, the most challenging thing I have seen is a company is trying to force things or picking up technologies that may, might not make um, the best sense uh, for the architecture or what they're trying to do. So I think this is the most important thing for me, like trying to put things into perspective and make sure you give enough time to try things out, figure out uh, what works, what doesn't, what actually uh, solves the problem and not just try to follow hypes and all these kind of things. All right. Um, so another question I have for you is, in recent years, there have been growing interest in stream processing with Apache Flink and the concept of streaming lake houses. Mm -hmm. Could you explain to me a bit about these concepts and the significance in the realm of real-time analytics? 
So for me, this is where things uh, get interesting. Basically, uh, and also especially in the context of LinkedIn has been uh, around for years and it's basically, I believe, has, has grown to become the de facto engine when it comes to stream processing. Now, the interesting part is for many, many years, we've been trying to differentiate between batch and stream processing. And even these days, you see lots of things like batch versus streaming. And many people uh, even having the, um, let's say, at least this is my view, having the misconception that stream and stream processing is only for uh, millisecond or second level latencies, which is not really the case, if you ask me. I mean, there are many use cases that are pretty fine with one minute, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes latency. It doesn't have to be like millisecond or second. Um, and at the same time, for me, it's not about bots versus streaming, especially with Fling and as part of the Fling community, we know we, we can realize for years that right now we have the necessary primitives and tools to accommodate both bots and streaming in a single engine. And although Fling started with streaming over the last years, and especially with the, late, the latest releases, the bot engine has come close to industry standards. So I think now is the perfect time to actually try and apply this kind of, uh, let's say, architecture uh, in practice. And I also have seen many companies and early adopters moving towards that. And it's also the most exciting for me, I uh, think for me, and I expect to see more around this thing forward. Yeah, great, good to hear. And speaking of Flink Forward, as a member of the program committee, um, what aspects of potential talk submissions are you particularly interested on reviewing, are there any specific topics or trends you hope to see it covered in this year's conference? Yeah, as I just said, yeah, for me, the most, uh, let's say, interesting thing will be uh, on the unified bus and streaming, but overall, in terms of, uh, let's say, best practices and architectures, like how things were done uh, up until recently, what, uh, I mean, for many adopters or people just implementing use cases, uh, what things they have seen going wrong, how they have improvement, improved, uh, improved them. Uh, so basically, exchange experience and knowledge around uh, how we can do better like overall, what technology applies where and how Flink can solve uh, create better architectures as a whole. Because I have seen lots of also many, uh, let's say, um, different uh, people like treating Flink more like uh, just the consumer, but it's more like it is more like an ecosystem. So I would love to see more things around Flink as an ecosystem in general. And also, of course, many companies use case success stories. So anything around the Flink eco specific ecosystem in particular or just around uh, the general topic is something you're quite interested in? Uh, as I said, when it comes more around Flink as an ecosystem, how it can uh, empower like complete architectures and also in terms of a unified bus and streaming architectures. Yeah. I think it would be the most important thing for me. I remember, especially last year, we had like two or three talks uh, really focused on that, which absolutely love, especially on the keynotes. So I would be, re be really, uh, let's say, excited to see more this year if that's possible. Yeah, so more on that topic, I guess there's just so much to delve into on it, right? Mm -hmm. And so with your experience in the field, what advice would you give to individuals or organizations uh, looking to adapt streaming technologies like Apache Flink? What are some key considerations um, they should keep in mind? So this is a really interesting and tricky question. Overall, um, I think especially if they're going full uh, real time, just give it time and patience, patience, guys, because there is a lot, uh, there is a huge learning gap there. Mm -hmm. For me, the, the, the natural evolution is for people to first get um, to implement like a streaming use case and become more comfortable with streaming data overall. And then it's the next step in the evolution, let's say around uh, going from stream, streaming to actually stream processing and especially stateful stream processing and make sure uh, to get in touch and also get more uh, feedback from people that have actually deployed all these technologies 
only because when we start going in produ into production, things might look easy, especially, for example, when you start deploying like five or 10 jobs, but things are completely different when you try and go from five or 10 jobs to hundreds or thousands. Mm -hmm. So make sure to be proactive and know the risks and uh, the caveats you will face because uh, it's going to be a really long and hard ride, which you will enjoy in the, in the end, but make sure to make uh, this as much as fun as possible and not no, just go and hit all the walls and uh, burners uh, we have seen over the years. Perfect. Thank you so much. That was really insightful. So mm -hmm. coming up, uh... Call for presentations are open until the 17th of May to get your submissions in. Um, if you have a really great talk to submit, um, Yanis and many of our other program committee members are really excited to delve into your talk, um, especially this year, we're celebrating the 10 years of Apache Flink uh, that's happening. And so it's all going down 21 to 24 October happening in Berlin um, in the brand new gasometer, which is purely being built um so it's really great to have it at a brand new venue um and really excited to have it um and share with you guys thank you so much yeah i'm looking forward to sharing on there <laughs> thank great. you so much thanks